feelings Hi guys, um, in today's video I'm going to be using just some scrap yarn that I have left over from the winter when I was making hats and cardigans and stuff so um, basically you can use full skeins um, these are just red heart um, super savers that I had already used so yeah basically I just chose these colors to hurry up and get rid of my scrap yarn so um, yeah um, you're gonna need some stitch markers to mark your armhole spaces and then I am using a 3.75 millimeter hook it is a F hook and you're going to also need a measuring tape so you can measure um, your bust area around your rib cage and then you're going to need some scissors so you can cut all your ends if you're going to be changing colors like I did and to start off we're going to make a slip knot and then I chained a chain that was long enough to fit around both sides of my rib cage so it's like a bandeau top so it doesn't go all the way around your back you want to leave room to strap it up in the back for me that was um, like 72 chains so you just chain up however many chains that is for you mine is an extra small and I did 72 chains with this hook so after you chain up all of your chains you are going to connect um, not connect <laughs> you're gonna chain up two more um, and then you're gonna half double crochet in every chain space across I'm struggling with this <laughs> I was recording on my bed um, so the camera's kind of shaky to you guys so yeah you have double crochet into your last chain that you chained besides those two chains that you added if you add it I did it so I can have the chain spaces on the ends for when I want to make my um the spaces for the lace up in the back so yeah you have double crochet in every chain space across until you get to the end and once you get all the way to the end we're going to start the next row so you just keep going all the way down to the end of your chain so now we are at the end of our chain and um, now I'm going to start to double crochet so um, you're going to double crochet in that first chain space that you see and you're going to put basically you're going to put three double crochets in the next three chain um, spaces or the next three stitches so you did one now you're going to do two more <laughs> oh my god my stomach is growling so loud and then I chain two and I skip two spaces and I double crochet in that third chain space or stitch whatever <laughs> and I added two more so it's gonna look like it's three double crochets together and then you um, you chain two and you skip two spaces you don't have to do this for your top but this is what I did for mine because it matches the shorts that I made for it so yeah you're just gonna keep doing that all the way to the end mine didn't end up being like an even amount um, probably because of the amount of chains that I did but it doesn't matter to me if you're um, picky about that you just make sure that you count so you can have enough to have the three double crochets together on both ends of your um, foundation chain so I'm just gonna speed through this because it's basically the same thing you do three double crochets you chain two skip two spaces and double crochet in the next three chain spaces so basically 
this is going to go by pretty fast because, well, here's the part I was telling you about at the end where I have three double crochets and then my next, um, I have two chain spaces to skip. So I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to double crochet in that last, um, stitch or whatever. <laughs> I don't know why I'm messing up today in the last stitch. So this part is going to go by pretty fast because after this part, I'm going to just be um, double crocheting and changing my colors. And I don't want to show that on camera because it's repetitive. So basically, you just go ahead and you prepare for a double crochet. And you double crochet I tried to go in the chain space um, stitches but it was so hard so after this first one that I was struggling to get in I just looped it around in the chain spaces I just didn't have time for it <laughs> so as you can see here I'm just gonna go through that space and double crochet and then I'm gonna double crochet on top of the previous three double crochets of the previous row and then just repeat that all the way to the end and then I kept changing colors but if you're not going to change colors it doesn't matter you just keep going so I'm just going to loop it in those chain spaces I don't know why I kept saying that before <laughs> so yeah you just go all the way across and you're gonna do that for however many rows you need to cover your bust area. My bust area is about five inches. So I didn't mind like the whole thing is about one to two inches longer than my bust. You could do it shorter or longer. So for me, that was about like maybe 17 rows. But depending on what hook you're using, it's gonna be different for you anyway. So yeah, you're basically just going to keep doing those double crochets until you get to the top. I kind of made mine shorter than the one that I just sh um, showed you. So now I have already made and connected one of my sleeves. As you can see here, I made it and I connected it to the sides. And so now we're going to go ahead and make the sleeve for the other side and you can see mine isn't even I made three double crochet rows of the tan color on the sleeve but I only did two on the shirt that was my mistake but it doesn't matter because it looks the same anyway so yeah now right here I have um, counted some spaces um, from the edge that was 10 spaces and in the middle I counted over to um I count over 11 spaces so however many that is for you just put it up to your arms and you'll be able to tell so now I'm just chaining up a chain long enough to wrap around my arm for me that was 35 chains and then you're just gonna connect it in a circle slip stitch it I'm sorry guys, I'm doing a bad job at explaining, but I'm so tired and I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, so I'm preparing for a half double crochet and I'm gonna half double crochet if I can get my hook in. And I'm gonna do that in every um, stitch across. I'm having a hard time in this video. <laughs> Just a whole struggle. So yeah, you half double crochet across the whole round. And after that, you chain two and you double crochet for however many rows you want to double crochet. 
I did about five rows, <clears throat> five rows, and I changed colors as I went, and I didn't show you guys. So when I come back, we'll be connecting it. So right here, I'm just going to show you the stitch markers. You just want to match those up. I counted out um, the, uh, right, the right amount of space in between the stitch markers that was on my top. I don't know how many that would be for you. So basically, you're just going to attach your hook and your yarn after you have attached the sleeve to the top where your stitch markers meet up at. So you can make sure that your sleeve um, is going to lay flat and correct how you want it to on your top. And I'm using the color that is the last row that I made, which is this green color. So then I basically just slip stitch those together and I'm going to go in every chain on the sleeve and the top that match up and I'm gonna slip stitch them together going down the whole thing. You can sew it with um, a needle and, and the yarn or thread, but I'm just gonna use my hook because it's easier. And you just go ahead through every stitch and make sure they line up on the front and the, um, on the sleeve and the top and yeah pretty much easy you do that all the way from one stitch marker to the other stitch marker and this top was super easy to make I made like three of them <laughs> for my little vacation when I go home to Virginia I'm not going nowhere special <laughs> so yeah um when you get all the way to the end, you just want to cut off your yarn and, you know, end off your row that you just did, your little slip stitch. I was snatching those stitch markers out. <laughs> so, yeah, here's the last one. And go ahead and cut your yarn and fasten that off and you can weave in all your ends however you do I've been dreading this I've been weaving in ends for like three days because I made like five outfits <laughs> it's crazy I'm so sick of these little end pieces so now that we are finished and have connect both of our sleeves I'm going to go ahead and do a back piece so we can lace up the top around us in the back. And right here is where you can see where the double crochet spaces are. Um, the double crochet two, well the chain twos at the end of your rows, I mean, I meant to say. Um, yeah, so you connect your yarn and then I chained four and in those chain two spaces that I was talking about, I'm just going to double crochet into each one on the end of every row to create like a mesh row so I can lace up the top. You can do however many rows you want. Um, I just needed one. And I did that all the way across both sides. I was just messing up. <laughs> Make no sense. So you chain two after every double crochet. I really suck at this voiceover. I'm sorry, y'all. After every double crochet, you chain two. So I you just double crochet, you chain two double crochet into the chain two space chain two and then double crochet and my camera wasn't picking up a lot of stuff it looks so weird but yeah you guys you just keep repeating that all the way to the end and when you do your last double crochet at the end um, of your row 
which would be the top of your shirt, um, you just automatically start chaining off your um, rows like right here. I'm just chaining up a chain of 200 for my straps in the back. So you don't have to connect your yarn. So I did that to the other side. You can go back down those chains um, with a slip stitch or half, I mean, a single crochet, but I didn't. And now I'm just gonna strap up the top and every third mesh stitch. Super duper easy. You can do it however many you want. However many spaces you can put in each one if you want, but I put it in every three. So yeah, basically the top is finished. You just wanna weave in all your ends and do everything to finish it off. I'm basically just about to cut off all these ends cause I do not care. <laughs> and yeah, so here's your top. You just, here's where you can tie it up at. I left mine long enough so I can tie it around my stomach. So it can look extra cute. So yeah, guys, it was a super easy off the shoulder top and with little sleeves. You can put any type of edging you want on it to make it all yours. You can do a different stitch, half double crochet, single crochet, whatever you want to do. But it's so cute when you do um, different colors and layers. That's why I made like three of them. <laughs> so here's my top again to show you the difference in how they can look with different colors. I like the lighter color one. But anyway, here's um, just a little video of the top with my jeans. And so thanks for watching the video, guys. Sorry I sound so sleepy. Please like, comment, and share the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I may be young, but I'm ready to kill.